Welcome back fellow mobile gaming fanatics, my time here with another episode of Top Drives and in this video we are going to be doing a how to theory craft with theory being the important word here because it may not work out like this but the idea is how to theory craft a team for an event so the event we're going to use today is the Ultra Underdogs I am unranked so for in fairness I haven't played this event yet so I don't know what is being used, what kind of requirements are, what cars look good. So this is how I would come to plan my way on this event at the start. So I can see that we use cars less than 20 RQ and if I click on play I've got a filter here which filters in those cars for me. Now what I did do, the first thing I did was I went into the discussion area and I went to the events and Mousetrap very kindly every event puts up a track set so it might not be up just as the event starts but normally within the first hour it is up there very very useful very grateful for that what I did was I went through all the four variable track sets and looked at individual tracks to see if there were any that repeat themselves now there are three tracks that repeat themselves there are the quarter mile drag the fast circuit in the rain and the karting circuit in the rain okay so the only Three that repeat themselves exactly so now there may be other variants like quarter mile in the rain or um, there's uh, there's like a karting circuit in the dry for example but the only ones that actually replicate are the karting circuit rain the quarter mile and the fast circuit rain now more importantly they are also replicated on the track set so two of the four track sets will have those three tracks in it does that make sense you've got a 50 percent chance of picking a track list with those three tracks in them so that is my focal point that's my starting point when building a team i want to build a team which has cars that are good for those three or at least ideally two of the three of those track sets because i have a 50 percent chance of them coming up in the race so with that being said, the first place I'm going to start is the Caterham 7270 because it has standard tyres which is good for the rain. Although it's not great for the fast circuit, it is good for the karting circuit because it's got a low 0 to 60 and although the handling doesn't look amazing, it has no weight at all. No traction control, no ABS, okay, not great for rain but again this car makes up for it by its lack of weight. So this potentially looks like a great car. Now, for people who maybe don't have as many RQ19 cars I want to be a little bit fairer and I want to come down and pick some cars that I think could be useful from the super rare because you may put in a super rare car or two and what I'm looking at first of all is I'm looking at the Lotus Elise, oh, the Lotus Elise Sprint the RX7 and potentially also looking at there are some other cars here, I don't want to go through them all to drag out the video that could be used that maybe I haven't built up or I have built and I would think about. But another one that I'm just thinking off the top of my head, the RX-8 Spirit R and the Opal GT. Okay, these are just examples of cars that I think could be useful in this event. Okay, so I'm going to pull those in quickly and after doing that, I'm going to have a look through and say, right, now, if we have this track list and we need a fast circuit we need a quarter mile what of these cars am I potentially going to keep because the rest of the tracks there is a mixture of rain and dry but they are very uh, there isn't a track set which doesn't have rain okay I've noticed that every track set has at least two rain uh, courses or variants in them now wet weather in the quarter mile isn't such an issue there is one more drags and everything. So what I wanted to do, I've got a specialist car kind of over here in the Caterham 270. Now the rest of these cars all kind of follow the twisty narrative. And with that, it makes me think that having the, low, the Elise would mean that the RX-8 isn't as viable, okay? So that car I'm gonna drop out before we go any further. And part of the reason why I'm keeping the Opal GT is because it has good 0 to 60 for a super rare, especially 16 RQ, and it has decent handling. I mean, this, this is actually a very good 16 RQ car, okay? No traction control, got the ABS, don't worry about its peak power, peak torque. Um, 
it is a good 16 RQ car, a very good 16 RQ car. So, what have we got in next? Well, next we need to try and do something with the fast circuit in the rain. Uh, fast circuit in the rain, what's important there? Well, standard tyres would be nice, but not essential. We want to avoid slick tyres for the rain, whatever happens. A car like the Challenger all-wheel drive here GT looks like it would be a good car for this event. And if you want to avoid, for example, you don't have to cater them, then I would suggest bringing this car in for the wet, especially for maybe the karting circuit and stuff. However, it that's all it's really good for. It's not great in the drags and everything. So I need to get some speed. If I had built the V8 Volante, I might have bought that in. However, at this moment, I've got some speed in the DBA R1. Not that it would be my ideal choice, but it is part, it is built. So let's pull that in. Now, I need to think twisty. Twisty needs to come into the consideration here. And yes, the Lotus Elite Sport 135 is a car everyone will probably have or should have. Um, we have also got the Mura, which can come in for the one mile, for the quarter mile. So, what am I thinking? I'm thinking drag car, Mura. So where is this gonna fit in this lineup? I then also need to think with the slaloms and the Monaco city streets, there's gonna be a lot of twisties and turnies, something for that. The Renault Sport McGann looks like it will come in. So, as good as the Opal is, the Sport McGann is a slightly better choice here. So if you don't have the Sport McGann, I'd have gone for the Opal probably out of these two. Um, the Clio Sport would have made it if it was um, if there were some a lot of city streets with the humps, etc. Because this is a low ground clearance where this is a medium ground clearance, which is one of the reasons why I built it. However, at this moment in time, I'm thinking we've got some fast circuit. We have got some twisty slash fast circuit. We've got twisty, twisty, and then we've got the Mazda, which does a bit of everything. So. Um, it's a toss up here about which of these I get rid of because I definitely think Mura needs to come in for the drags. This is going to be my drag car. And on the levels that don't have a drag or a car park, it will just have to go in like a hairpin or something like that because it's not really got the handling. Um, Focus ST, if it was built, wouldn't be a bad choice. As you see here, you may have different RQ19 cars you can use. If you had the the uh, Alpha built up uh, from Eden. Yes, this could be bought in for the fast circuits, especially. However, we need a drag car. I need a drag car that's got a good chance of winning against most of his opponents. If I had the Mirror S done, I could bring that. We've got the SV. So, this one, I'm, I want to keep the Elise for the slaloms, etc., for the karting circuits, along with this. I only want to take one wet, one standard tyre car here. I could take a four-wheel drive. There is, there is an option for me to bring in this all-wheel drive uh, Challenger GT because there are two wet surface uh, circuits. But for example, in the fast circuit, in that the rain isn't as much of an issue if you've got the stats on your car. So, with that being said, I, I'm I'm thinking this should go. Really, I am thinking that should go for the mirror. But for now. We're going to drop out the RX-7 and try this, but that could be coming back in. So this is my theory craft for a team, okay? Now we go in and we play, oh great, well we get Hutch Dealer. This isn't what we are, uh, this isn't what we wanted for our first match. But as you can see, here comes that karting circuit, rain, quarter mile and fast circuit. So it is pretty, pretty easy from here, okay? My, my kind of cars are now picked for this, this track set. This is probably how I would place my cars against a random opponent. Now what is interesting about this event is that everyone is gonna have super rare cars and everyone is gonna have some ultra rare 19 RQ cars. Even if you haven't built them, you don't need to have the 19 RQ cars. There are plenty of super rares which are also gonna be useful and decent this event. So here we go, I'm just gonna play the first person, okay? This is what we want. We wanna see what it comes up against a person. Now, it 
has the fast circuit, the kiting circuit, and the quarter mile. Or easily, the quarter mile is a victory, okay? We know that. Here you go, here's the upgrade from the RX-7. As I said, the RX-7 was the, um, the super rare. This is the upgrade version. Very, very useful car for this event. But, kiting circuit, we will throw in the Caterham. It is here for the wet. Fast circuit, we will throw in the DBAR1 on this fast circuit. That's kind of what it's there for. The karting circuit, we will take the win with the, I hope it's the, uh, it might not be actually. Uh, let's see, let's see. We're gonna go through very quickly and have a look because it's gonna be interesting. Right, so the DBAR1, there you go, wins there. Only because of it, it's got uh, a better top speed. It's not got the handling or anything. It would lose on the twisty circuit, but it. It, it does okay in the fast circuit. So, okay, the least does lose there, which will make me think I could bring in uh, Sport 135 instead. That's looking like being the play there. This is gonna be a slight loss. I kind of knew that. Actually, this is a good, a good car on the fast circuit. Twisty circuit, I'd have had it. This will be a win just because of the standard tires. And finally, the drag is ours as well. So the team so far doesn't look too bad. Uh, change, if we're gonna change, it does look like we might be better off bringing in the Elite Sport just because it's got that you know, I think this is, okay. I've gone up to an all ultra rare hand here. I said I was just trying to give some alternatives to people. This, I think, is going to be the, the slightly more competitive track. So what have we got here? What have we got here? He's gone for the speed version on it. And I've gone for the twisty version. Okay. Right, with that in mind, we're going to win the hairpin road because ours is maxed out. We can take a tie on the city streets long, but what we need to do is work out where we would then win. So, very nice car here, the Porsche 911 Carrera. This is gonna be a very good car for this event. I've not had it, uh, very useful car. So, we've got wet. We're gonna to have to put our wet car there because it's gonna be a loss anyway. Now, we can take the car park take a defeat in the city streets and pray that we win the slalom I don't I don't know if my setup on the Elise is going to win the slalom or not I honestly don't know um, let's find out so this is a loss I don't mind this DBAR1 this is the car which is most likely to get changed. I haven't decided what I would change it for yet. I need to see what goes or I would just lose. Okay, so this is not good. This is not good. If we're gonna lose that by 50 anyway, I might as well put the other Lotus in. Um, and we'd win this one. So although it's a victory, we need to we need to have a think. We do need to have a think because that DBAR one I think is going to cause me problems later on. Not so bad in the fast circuit, but apart from that, it's not got any real use. And I'm going to be using the mirror for the one mile drags and everything. Um, theory crafting, theory crafting. The challenger for the other wet circuit it could be. You know, it could be. Um, I can try it. And if it goes badly wrong, take it out. I could build up the Lambo. Either of these two, again, I just, for the fast circuit, the Countach could be. I think if you had this built, I would swap these two around. If you have the Lamborghini built, I'd swap those two around. And I might actually work on building this one for the sacred. I have cars. Um, even if it's not for this e event specifically, I might actually work on building that. Uh, just for the time being, if you had the Stradale done, that could come in and replace the DBR as well. Um, that would be an improvement. But for now, I'm gonna try the Challenger. I just wanna see how this works when we come up in the rain. Here we go, Stradale. Okay, here we go. Let's take this now. 
this is using a different track set, so not using our um, specialty, should we say. So we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna throw out Monaco G-Force like this, and we're gonna throw the slalom in like this. Now we're gonna lose the slalom, I think. It's gonna be close. The four wheel drive standard, but it is a lot heavier. It's gonna be close. Quarter mile and one mile. Um, well, we've lost the quarter mile, haven't we? Uh, okay, so the RX-7, it's a good alternative. It's just, just having the RX-7 Sprint or whichever it is, the 19R cube version of it, it's just fractionally better. That slightly extra handling, better top speed, zero to 60, just makes it, I'd say almost an MVP car for this event. I will go as far as an MVP car. See, that was close. See, I knew it was gonna be close. I knew it was gonna be close there. Um, I think the mirror is going to do this because the the Jags mid range is poor. Okay, it's really poor. I, I just hate that car. I built it up and then sold it. I just don't like it. I know this is a defeat, uh, which we we can accept. And then finally, the challenge is going to be here, but we do win just because of that nice weight reduction there, that 500 weight on the Caterham really really helping us so so far it's been pretty good this slot four is where i am unsure i don't think either of these cars are great for it i think the stradale would be better um and i do think the lambo would also be better so we may work on that let's just see Let's just see, here we go, this is interesting. This is interesting. So, with a team like this, I think we go, I think we take the tie, win the karting circuit. I think we, I don't know if we win or lose on this karting circuit, to be honest with you. Because we've got the 323, and he's got the 233. We'll find out. We'll find out. We should win the quarter mile. See, this is why the Kuntash would be a better choice because it's got that slightly better, ha uh, it's got slightly worse handling than the um, than the DBAR1 and slightly worse 0 to 60, but it's got a better top speed for the fast circuit and it just kind of just, I don't know, maybe I'm being unfair to the DBAR1. Maybe it would be better than this. It would probably win. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. I can keep changing it. There is one slot up for grabs. The other four, I think I'm pretty much locked in at the moment for this event. Now, sometimes you're going to have to compare your team to other people's. And if there's a certain car that keeps coming up and you have it, you may need to make way in your team for it to come in just so you don't, say, consistently lose against a certain car. Now here, this wouldn't make much difference. This Challenger so far hasn't really helped me if you see it hasn't helped me anyway now do we lose this it says complete tie yeah i think i remember seeing that before so unfortunately i've not gained anything by taking the dbl ar1 out and putting that in for some of the wet circuits it's, it's although it's got the handling great handling uh, if it was a medium city streets or something then yes i could put that in because it's got the medium ground clearance it would be better than the dbra one but in this current event i don't think that the challenger is going to help so you saw it there looks like the caterham okay 270 19 rq key car okay mvp if you've got the r x7 sprint the 19 rq master key car and you're going to then need something twisty i can't go in and show you like that you're going to need something twisty so i'm using that mcgam uh let's just scroll along like rather than doing the rq thing in the filter yeah i was using the mcgam you're going to need something kind of twisty oh, the golf would be great if it was one one down so something with some speed to definitely put in a drag car okay and the Lotus Elite Sport also looks like it's going to be a very, very, very useful car. So I've gone for the, the McGann. 
anything with a, with some good handling and a decent forward air for the tracks for the um, faster circuits etc and twisty circuits and then there's probably going to be a spot left open like in mine where there might be another car which is an MVP so if you find a car that is great in this that I could replace my well it's not going to be the GT it's going to be my DBAR1 now wherever that is so if you can find a car that replaces my what's going to be Aston for now that I have it could have been a, a it could even be in the 18 17 RQ so you could maybe make them out and say you know what you're still better off to put in that Lotus Elise a sprint for 18 RQ and just you know it will although it's going to lose on some circuits it will actually help you in this place please let me know and I'll definitely look to do it so with all that said I'm going to say thank you very much for watching I've been my time good luck in this ultra rare